welcome back. I am Pastor Sarah and so glad that you're able to join us today. We're excited that we can continue to offer online curriculum to wherever you may be, whether it's your living room, your hotel room, wherever God may find you this morning. We just wanted to remind you for those that maybe haven't made it back yet to our face-to-face -face classrooms that we've recently launched our brand new face-to-face -face curriculum called The Gospel Project. It's different from what you might find online and it's the new curriculum that's chronologically working its way through God's Word and we're so excited to offer it to our students that are meeting face-to-face -face in our classroom. We will continue to offer All Am Friends online and we're excited to let you check out today's video. So let's see what we have online for All Am Friends. It is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. It is I, Super Lucy, and with my super eyes, I can see the new kid Liam, who just moved in next door. He's been in the backyard every day, playing all by himself. I mean, it's great to play alone sometimes, but don't you like playing with friends? Me too. I think someone should go play with Liam, but I wonder who. I know, this is a job for Super Lucy! There are lots of fun things I could play with Liam. Like, I could take my bubble maker. Or I could share my sidewalk chalk. Or we could kick my soccer ball back and forth. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. Ooh. Oh. It's Ollie! Hello, Lucy. Ho, ho. Planning a super mission, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. I'm going to play with the new kid next door because he's been playing all alone. That's a wonderful thing to do. God made you to do big things. It's true. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Ho. Follow me through, follow me through hell. I've got a Bible story for me and you. That should do it. <laughs> oh, hola, friends. I'm Luis the Handyman. I just replaced the batteries in this for my niece. She uses it to play her music and practice for her dance class. <laughs> she loves to dance. Ooh, that reminds me of today's story. Do you want to help me build it? Ha <laughs> ha, great. Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. <laughs> yep, that's perfect. Okay, so all month long, we've been hearing stories from the Bible about a guy named David. Whoa! Look at David dance. I think he's celebrating someone special. Do you know who he's celebrating? God! <laughs> David's dancing as a way to praise and thank God. David knew that God made him to do big things. What big things did David do? Well, let's play a game and see if we can remember. I'm going to ask you some questions about David and you shout out the answer. Are you ready? Question number one. When David was a shepherd watching his flock of sheep, an animal came and took one of the sheep. What kind of animal was it? Was it a giant octopus? 
Or was it a mighty eagle? Or was it a lion? What's the right answer? Shout it out! Yes! A lion! <laughs> That's right! The lion grabbed the sheep, but God made David to do big things, and David saved the sheep. Okay, here we go. Question number two. David did something really big that other people were afraid to do. Was it take everyone some pizza? Was it build a snowman? Or did David challenge a giant named Goliath? Which one? Shout it out! <laughs> if you said challenge the giant Goliath, you are right! God made David to do big things, and he knocked down the giant. <laughs> okay, last question. When David became king, he helped someone. Who did David help? Did David help a kangaroo? Did David help a woman cross the road? Or did David help Jonathan's son, Mephibosheth? What's your answer? Shout it out! <laughs> That's right! God made David to do big things, and he took care of Mephibosheth. Great playing, everyone! God made David to do so many big things. And that's why David celebrated and praised God by dancing and making music and singing songs. <laughs> David praised God because he wanted to say thank you. Now, raise your hand if you think God made you to do big things too. Wow, <laughs> so many hands. And you're right. God made us to do big things, which means we can dance too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who made you to do big things? God made me to do big things. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made you to do big things? God made me to do big things. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Adios. Woo. So there's your story, and it's all true. David sang and danced to thank God. And we can all praise God, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ho, ho. Wow, David did so many big things. And David praised God to say thank you. God made me to do big things, and I can praise God, too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I know what I can do with Liam. We can dance and praise God together. Whatever the day brings, God made me to do big things. See you later. Thank you again for joining us online. Don't forget to stay up to date on all of the exciting things happening right here at Highland Park Church by following us on social media. You can also find out about upcoming events at hplakeland.com backslash events. Till then, we'll see you next week. Bye.